Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with the Movement System. In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine sets and reps for strength training. We're going to look at one chart that puts it all together and gives you a good reference for how many sets and reps you should be doing for each exercise. Also, in case you don't already have a program template, I'll put the exact program template that I use in the description below to download completely for free. That way you guys have something to use for programming. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Prilipin's chart. Now, Prilipin's chart was created by Alexander Prilipin. He was a USSR weightlifting coach who essentially took all of the data from his athletes and then condensed it into one chart of how he wrote programs. And a lot of people have been using it since. I know I learned it from Elite FTS a few years ago, and I think it's a really good chart to understand and be able to reference whenever you're determining sets and reps for your clients and athletes. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this chart works. Again, this is for strength and power programming for the primary lifts, Olympic lifts, and your compound main barbell lifts. So the way the charts line up is on the leftmost side, you can see percent one rep max. And we can go anywhere from 55% one rep max to 90% plus one rep max, depending on how many sets and reps we're gonna be doing. When we're doing strength and power movements with lower weight around that 55 to 65% one rep max, we can handle more volume. So what that's saying is we can do up to around three to six sets of three to six reps. Ideally, we would want to target around 24 reps total. So for example, four sets of six, around say 60% one rep max of a compound lift. That's towards the higher end of volume of what we would really be training for our main strength and power lifts. For the most part, we might be around sets of three, four, five reps, a little bit lower in the chart. For example, if we're working between 70 to 80% one rep max, we may target a total of around 18 repetitions. Something like four sets of four of a power clean, for example, might fall into this range where you would target around 75 to 80% one rep max and work those four sets of four for a total of around 16 reps. You might be wondering, why don't we go more reps or why don't we go less reps? More reps than that on these main strength power moves has been shown to increase central nervous system fatigue and we get decreased effectiveness from those reps. If we want to add more volume to a program, we typically wouldn't go beyond that in our compound lifts, and we may just add more accessory movements to that program. So really this chart is just showing us how to program our main compound lifts. But if we were only doing say five or eight reps in this range, so say something like two sets of four or three sets of one, that's probably not going to be enough volume to get adequate adaptation. So that's why we're really targeting that, for example, 18 reps in that second column. What you can start to see though is there's a trade-off with more and more weight. So if you wanted to use 80 to 90% one rep max for your main compound lifts, these are getting heavier now so we can't do quite as many reps. We should be targeting around two to four sets of two to four reps for a total of around 15 repetitions. Obviously that two to four gives you a lot of wiggle room. You could do as low as two by two. It's probably not quite enough. You could do something like four sets of three, three sets of four, four sets of four. Ideally though, we wanna to get to that target total rep range of at least 10 and up to around 20 reps in this 80 to 90% range. Again, this is really great for programming Olympic lifts and our main compound barbell lifts. So things like barbell back squat, front squat, deadlifts, bench press, main compound lifts. And then the last spot on this chart before we go into the examples, 90% plus one rep max. For this, we wanna target around one to two sets of one to two reps for a total of around just four repetitions. As we get over 90% one rep max, and this is especially true with really well-trained lifters, these lifts are very taxing, so we can't do a ton of volume here. Instead, we need to dial that volume back with something like two sets of two or one set of two being more effective here. Now you might be wondering, do I have to stay exclusively in one range? No, you could actually do some reps at 80 to 90% and then just a few top end reps in that 90% plus range. So you can combine training from different rep ranges here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a simple program example to see what this actually looks like. So let's work on some power cleans. Let's just say you're working with a field sport athlete who wants to develop power and we wanna train power cleans for four sets of four. If we're doing this, that volume is around 16 total reps and therefore we wanna be around that 80 to 90% range. Another way you could do that is thinking, okay, I want to train power cleans in the 80% range, so therefore I could look at the sets and reps in the chart and see two to four sets of two to four reps. Okay, I'm gonna go with four sets of four. There's really no rules about this. You could just do all four sets at 84%. Typically, I like to do a little bit of a buildup from set to set so that the last set is the most challenging. From there, we might work overhead press with more of a strength stimulus. So for overhead press, we're looking at four sets of five, around 78 to 80%. 
Again, this will be a solid set and rep choice for that strength power zone for a athlete who's working on that overhead strength. And then looking into the example day two, we have barbell back squat. We want to program this in that 70 to 80% one rep max window. So that gives us that range of three to six sets of three to six reps. We want four sets of six reps for this barbell back squat. And we're again training this around 77 to 80% one rep max. And then lastly, you can see two heavy sets of snatch. This is 90%. So in this case, we're just going to do two sets at 90%. This is a good example of using the highest weight, but with the lowest volume. You would want to obviously build up to this with warm up sets, and you could very well do a few sets that are at 80% and then up to your 90% sets. Again, it really just depends on how you want to program. In terms of accessory movements, you can just fill those in with more traditional set and rep ranges, something like three sets of eight, three sets of 10. That's fine. Again, Prillpin's chart is more for the main compound lifts. If you guys do want this template download, go ahead and hit the link in the description below to download it for free. And then if you guys do want to learn more about program design, you can check out my full course, Program Design 101, which teaches you exactly how to write great programs for your clients and athletes. It takes you step by step showing you exactly how I write a strength program, hypertrophy program, power and plyometric program, endurance program, and conditioning program with examples. At the end of the course, you'll have a full portfolio of programs that you can use with your clients and athletes. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.